guys, this is in a Toot and Totem convenience store in Amarillo. This table shakes, sorry. And uh, inside of the store is this Mitch's Texas style barbecue. And I've eaten here once before. I got lucky enough to be like one of the last people in line because they serve until they run out and then they're done. I'm right here in one of my favorite places in Amarillo. I always stop and get gas here. It's just a good store. And if the Mitch's over there, if their barbecue is not sold out, I'm gonna get some barbecue. I've only been able to get it one time. <laughs> So, and it was so good. So, we'll see if I get lucky. All right, let's see how lucky we can get going into Mitch's Toot and Totem. So they're not sold out. Huh? Usually I come in here and they're sold out. It's been a while. It's been a couple months I've been down here. Yeah. yeah. This stuff is good, I think. We are in luck. One sausage link. Polish. Polish. Thank you. Appreciate it. So these guys are great. I'm getting a, so about a quarter pound of brisket, about three ribs, some potato chips, and these guys are gonna be famous now. <laughs> he looks surprised. <laughs> oh yeah, the potato salad, the potato salad here is really good. These guys hooked me up. I'm, I'm really excited because I was able to, to get this uh, and come see these fine people. They're working hard and they do a good job. I can't tell you how excited I am. Because this stuff is so good. Look, look at these ribs. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna try no sauce. so good with barbecue sauce that's really really good too mm. all right guys here's here's the rib look at the nice bark on this thing and the smoke ring That is good. Really good. Just look at this.
guys, this is in a Toot and Totem convenience store in Amarillo. This table shakes, sorry. And uh, inside of the store is this Mitch's Texas style barbecue. And I've eaten here once before. I got lucky enough to be like one of the last people in line because they serve until they run out and then they're done. And uh, man, this stuff is really good. Is it as good as Gracious Pig, which we just ate at in Surfside Beach, South Carolina? I'm going to let you know here in just a minute. All right. He's chopping up brisket over there. But these are baby back ribs, too. Look at the size of these baby back ribs. Of course, everything's bigger in Texas. And God, these were so good. I mean, look at that. Off the bone. I mean, it. I clean that up. Same way at the Gracious Pig. There's something about, you know, the, their ribs had a really good bark too. It's, it's really, this is a really tough competition. Look at the nice bark on these ribs. Mm, mm, mm. Oh man. This is a tough one. So, I'm gonna have to, and while this is moist, I think the Gracious Pig's uh, brisket was even moister, it melt in your mouth. Now this is full of flavor, but it, it's uh, a little drier. Um, more beefy, it's kind of like a roast beef, kind of like, you know how like if you, in a crock pot and it comes apart like that, it's really nice. Um, so, and then the, uh, the ribs, both the ribs at both places are really good. The uh, Mitch's ribs seem to be a little bit bigger, so. I hate to say that it's a tie. I'm, I'm gonna give the edge just slightly to the Gracious Pig. I would, I would give it a 98 and I'm gonna give this a 97. <clears throat> the, uh, the Gracious Pig potato salad, just a tad better than this. Um, had a really good flavor. Um, all I can say is if you're in Surfside Beach, go to Gracious Pig. If you're in Amarillo and you got a chance to get Mitch's, you need to get it. I mean, it's authentic Texas barbecue. It has got great smoke greens. The meat's got some great color. Nice bark. Gosh, it's outstanding. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my gosh. A plus plus. Guys, that was great and you know, I've got a degree in physical education and uh, also a certified health teacher. So, I think one thing we have to understand is that you need to evaluate uh, how you feel after you eat. Like, for me, if I eat a lot of carbs or something like that, after I eat, I mean, then I just want to go to sleep. I, I just don't feel good. Like, there'll be 15, 20 minutes that I'll just not feel good for a good while. So, um, when I eat a meal like I just had of brisket and ribs, I feel good. I, 
I had just a couple of bites of the potato salad, but I'd say 85 or 90% of that was, you know, meat and proteins, and I and I just feel full. I ate till I was full, and I don't feel bad, and I don't feel like I want to go to sleep. And uh, so I think that is the big key. Like, if you don't feel good after you eat, or you just want to go to sleep after you eat, then you need to probably evaluate uh, what we're putting in your body. Now, I'm not preaching because I'm horrible, man. I will, I will love to eat some brownies and cookies, and, man, I enjoy it in the moment and then after I eat them I'm like oh, I just want to go to sleep I, I, I don't feel good or like I'll have like chest pains or any, something just anything like that so uh, just uh, you know Ben Franklin one time said uh, it's a simple thing uh, evaluate the food you eat and if it doesn't make you feel good don't eat it I, I try to live like that but I don't always I fail but you know, we, we can come back and we can do it again. Uh, try to do better the very next meal. So, anyway, not preaching, just teaching. Y'all have a great day. Go eat at Mitch's. Go have a steak. Go enjoy. Main thing is enjoy life. And we'll see you next time. Just don't